Hi students, today we are going to discuss the questions from your textbook Maths Ace by Pearson. Exercise 7.2, the chapter name is Factorization. Here we are going to do the first part. Our first question is factorize using identities. Here x square plus 12x plus 36. You check how many terms are here. There are three terms. You learned four identities. What are they? They are a plus b the whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to a minus b the whole square. a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b and one more x plus a into x plus b equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. So you check. You check the x square term and the constant term. Here this is a perfect square and this also perfect square. So which identity we will use? We will use a plus b the whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. The big part will give. That means the part containing three terms will give. You have to find out the this part. So for this you find what is a and what is b. You compare this these two and these two you will get a and b then you can substitute then you can find so here you comparing this x square and a square so a square equal to x square which implies a equal to x similarly b square equal to 36 which implies b square equal to 6 square which implies b equal to 6 so you got a and b so you can substitute the values instead of a and b so you will get x plus 6 whole square and x plus 6 whole square you can write as x plus 6 and x plus 6 into x plus 6 our next question is p square plus 8p plus 16 here same identity we are going to use because the first term and last term is a perfect square so you comparing these two you will get a square equal to p square which implies a equal to p and b square equal to 16 which implies b square equal to 4 square that means b equal to 4 so you got a and b a equal to p and b equal to 4 so you can write instead of a and b you can substitute the values p and 4 so you will get p plus 4 the whole square it's equal to p plus 4 into p plus 4 Our next question is set square minus 10 set plus 25 here here it is there are three terms but here it is negative sign so which identity we will use we will use a minus b the whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square you compare these two you will get a square equal to z square which implies a equal to z and b square equal to 25 that means b square equal to 5 square that's equal to b equal to 5 so you got a and b then you substitute in this side so a minus b the whole square becomes z minus 5 whole square equal to z minus 5 into z minus 5 our next question is 25 s square plus 30 s plus 9 here also it is second it's plus so and this and this are perfect square so again you can use this identity a plus b the whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square you compare first and last term you will get a and b now a square equal to 25 square which implies a square equal to 5 square s square that means a equal to 5s and b square equal to 9 so b square equal to 3 square which implies b equal to 3 therefore you got a equal to 5s and b equal to 3 you can substitute that so 5s plus 3 the whole square this is equal to 5s plus 3 into 5s plus 3 our next question is 100b square minus 60bc plus 9c square here you check the second term it's negative so which identity we will use we will use a minus b the whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square and you compare first term and last term so a square equal to 100 b square which symbolize a square equal to 10 b the whole square you know 10 square equal to 100 so a square equal to 10 square b square is equal to a equal to 
tan b and here b square equal to 9c square which implies b square equal to 3c whole square which implies b equal to 3c so you got a equal to tan b and b equal to 3c you substitute the right side that means a minus b the whole square equal to tan b minus 3c the whole square that means tan b minus 3c into tan b minus 3c our next question is p power 4 plus 2 p square q square plus q power 4 here also all are positive so we will use a plus b the whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square again you compare a square equal to p power 4 that means a square equal to p square whole square square and square cancel so a equal to p square we got and similarly b square equal to q power 4 so b square equal to q square whole square so it symbolizes b equal to q square so now you got a and b a equal to p square and b equal to q square substitute so a plus b the whole square equal to p square plus q square the whole square so it's equal to p square plus q square into p square plus q square our next question is 36 x square minus 49 x square here you check here there is only two terms so which identity we will use we will use a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b so a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b comparing a square you will get 36 set square so a square equal to 6 set whole square that means a equal to 6 set and b square equal to 49 x square so this is equal to b square equal to 7 x whole square so b equal to 7 x so we got a square minus b square equal to instead of a you substitute 6 6 set and instead of b you substitute 7 x so 6 set plus 7 x into 6 set minus 7 x next one is 196 p square minus 121 q square same this is also we will use a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b here what is a what is a a equal to here a square equal to 196 p square so a square equal to 14 p whole square so a equal to 14 b similarly b square equal to 121 q square 121 121 is 11 square so b square equal to 11 q the whole square so b equal to 11 q so we got a equal to 14 p and b equal to 11 q so what about a square minus b square it's a plus b into a minus b you substitute the values of a and b then you will get a square minus b square it's equal to 14p plus 11q into 14p minus 11q. So this is our factorization of 196p square minus 121q square equal to 14p plus 11q into 14p minus 11q. So this is our answer. Okay students. Next part 2 I will explain. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and the, your subscription is the motivation. So thank you once again.